What's good, you Barons? On this week's episode, we'll find out about Charity Month. Get some insight on Barons' music taste. Watch a very heated interview with Mr. Melendez. Learn about Three Kings Day. And see what goes down on Friday the 13th. I'm Jay O'Connor. And I'm Kyle Tottlebaum. And, and you're, you're watching, watching BCC, BCC TV. What's going on in the news this week, Kyle? On Sunday, hundreds of supporters of Brazil's former leader, Jair Bolsonaro, stormed several government buildings, trashing offices, and drawing criticism from the government and international community. The breaches came a week after the inauguration of Lula da Silva. The attack bore similarities to the January 6, 2021 insurrection at the U.S. Capitol when supporters of former U.S. President Donald Trump, a close ally of Bolsonaro, stormed Congress in an effort to prevent the certification of his election defeat. After 15 rounds of voting across several days, Republican Kevin McCarthy of California has been elected as Speaker of the House. This marks the first time in over a century that the Speaker election has taken multiple ballots to complete. Many believe that this unsteady election foreshadows tension in the coming years where the Republican Party holds a narrow majority. Last Monday, Buffalo Bill's safety, Damar Hamlin, collapsed on the field in the first quarter after being struck in the chest during a tackle. CPR was performed on Hamlin for approximately nine minutes on the field before he was taken to Cincinnati Hospital. Hamlin was sedated and intubated until last Thursday. His Chasing M's Foundation has raised over $9 million in support. He was released from the hospital on Monday morning. Influencer, misogynist, and self-proclaimed king of toxic masculinity Andrew Tate has been arrested after picking a fight with Greta Thunberg on Twitter. Tate posted a video mocking the climate activist while eating a pizza from a chain specific to Romania which allowed officials to pinpoint his location. Tate was arrested on rape and human trafficking charges and appeared in court this past Wednesday. Barons, NHS is sponsoring a clothing swap. Donate any used clothes using one of the boxes located by the main and second floor entrances, auditorium, and Dr. Howard's room. Use the attached QR code to fill out a form to earn hours for donation. Speaking of donations, this month is Charity Month. Let's check in with Sophie to learn more. Hey you! Average BCC student, do you know what month it is? It's Charity Month! This year, BCC is partnering with Feed the Fridge to fundraise. Feed the Fridge helps combat food insecurity in the MoCo and the DC area by providing fridges with full meals to restaurants, recreation centers, and schools in our area. There are many events you can partake in this month, like bake sales, Spirit Week, and fundraisers at your favorite restaurants, including Potomac Pizza, Panera, California Tortilla, and more. Check out this month's calendar to see the rest of our amazing fundraisers. Thank you for listening. Back to you, Jay and Kyle. Remember, Barons, there will be a bake sale at tonight's basketball game. Definitely check it out. Don't bake sales make you think of that one Wiz Khalifa song? No, I'm not hip. Wait, you're not hip? Bake sale, like 2016, Travis Scott? No. Rough. Maybe the rest of BCC has better music knowledge. Okay, three, two, one. Ready? Ready? We're going. Go. Come on. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart, but the very next day, you gave it away. This year, uh -huh. to save me from tears, I'll give it to yeah. someone special. Country roads, take me home. To the place I belong. That was good. Okay. I kissed a girl and I liked it. I'd like to make myself believe. No. Okay. Daddy's like a melody. In my head. In my it's head. 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 It's head. It's head. Starships were meant to fly. Last Friday night. Something, something, yeah, I'm free. Yeah, you we, can do it with yeah, that. Yeah, we guess when people talk, and we took too many. I think we kissed, but I forgot last, last Friday, Friday night. night. Yeah. Do it all again. What about Saturday? Wow, some of y'all were really good. And others, not too much. Anyways, back to you, Jay and Kyle. Oh.
questions and even hotter wings, but in our case, Dino Nuggies. We're here with math department superstar, Mr. Melendez. Mr. Melendez, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me, boys. First, we're gonna get started with our simple medium sriracha. Not bad. Mm, not bad. I'm, I'm already sweating. sweating. <laughs> it's hot. Right. It's hot. Good. When you moved from El Salvador to Maryland, what was your first impression of school? Was it better or worse than you thought? Well, interestingly, I went to an all boys private school in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. So when I came to the States, it was a lot more chill. And there were girls, because I was 12, so going to uh, from all boys school to a school with boys and girls was pretty cool. I liked it. Awesome. <laughs> uh, our third spice, but now we're, we're kind of ramping it up a notch. Mm. We got this Bongo Garlic Pili Pili from Tanzania. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm already sweating. <laughs> <laughs> that right here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the clumpy one. The clumpy one. <laughs> That's what you want to hear when you eat pepper. <laughs> the clumpy one. What are, I'm getting the switch back. <laughs> what are some of the best <laughs> memories that you have of your high school soccer coach, Scooter Skaggs? No! <clears throat> oh. Scooter, God rest his soul, amazing guy. And uh, what I loved is he used to have these horny sayings. Like, if you think about the spelling of the following word, he had a big poster. Oof. It said, champ or chump. You make the difference. And um, you know, it was, it was just fun to, to be there. That's great. Woo! Yeah, I can do it right here now. Oh, second take's gonna be fun. Second take? <laughs> so now we're gonna move to our last spice. And as you can tell by the bottle, it's pretty spicy. Uh, it's called the Reaper. So down the hatch. All right. Mm. That's not even that taste, it's just hot. <laughs> Okay, my last question. The BCC uh, soccer assistant coach, Oscar Caceres. Yeah. How did you meet him, and how did you become lifelong friends? So interestingly enough, <sighs> I played club soccer against Oscar when we were 11, 12 year olds, and we became friends when we were like 14. And so we became such good friends because we play against each other. Mm -hmm. And we were actually getting fights sometimes. Mm. But we became such good friends, even through high school, that he actually became my daughter's godfather. So, mm -hmm. it's really cool. Oh, my tongue burns. <laughs> my head is sweating. Oh, crap. I should have so put me. Mm -hmm. Hey, easy boy. What? <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think that's it, right? Well, so, maxed out. This was good. This was, was good. This was great. Um, thank you so much, Mr. Melendez, for coming on the show. Appreciate thank you, boys. Back to you, Jay and Kyle. You looking like Shaq out there. Yeah, they were feasting for real. I know those nuggies were scorching, but they still look so good. Really? Yeah, I could crush some more right now. Loki, me too. My cousin just sent me pictures of Horoska de Reyes, which did not help. What's that? It's the dessert bread that they eat on Three Kings Day. Oh, Sanai was just telling me about that. Oh yeah, let's toss it to Sanai to find out more. What's up, Barons? My name's Sanaya. Today, I'm gonna talk about the Epiphany. Ever heard of it? Well, it's celebrated on January 6th, and depending on your culture and beliefs, you might actually celebrate it in different ways, or not at all. Many Brits and Scots celebrate the Epiphany on Old Christmas. How did that start? So, in the late 1500s, the Pope at the time decided that it would be a good idea to change the calendar. Before the change, a calendar year had 376 days, but after, it had what we now consider a normal year with 365. In those 200 years, many Brits and Scots were immigrating to America and still followed the old calendar years. Since the old calendar had more days, some holidays were celebrated later than when they would be with the new calendar. So, according to the old calendar, Christmas was actually 12 days after the 25th on January 6th. That's kind of how we got the 12 days of Christmas, also known as Old Christmas. The tra traditions are very similar to what happens on Christmas on the 25th now, including things like having lights on the Christmas tree, getting gifts, and making gingerbread houses. However, for many other people, typically in Hispanic countries, January 6th is known as Dia de las Reyes, or Three Kings Day. It marks the day that Gaspar, Balthazar, and Melchor visited the infant Jesus and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. There are many ways that this holiday is celebrated throughout different countries. For example, in Mexico, they bake a cake called Rosca de Reyes with a small Jesus figurine in it. People also drink hot chocolate and there are parades all over the country. In Spain and Puerto Rico, there are also parades, but people are able to collect presents during these. Um, in Puerto Rico, the night before Three Kings Day, children will normally fill a shoebox with leaves and grass and put it by their bed before they go to sleep. And in the morning, they wake up to gifts in the box and all the leaves gone. 
Well, that's all for the Epiphany or Three Kings Day or Old Christmas or whatever you want to call it. Back to you, Jay and Kyle. Can't lie, I'm still starving. That's why I'm so happy it's Friday. I can't wait to go out and crush some lunch with the boys. You should not go out for lunch today. Why? I didn't bring one. It's Friday the 13th. And? Like... You don't know? I can't. Roll the tape. Hey, everyone. Hey, so What's I up? already left. Um, are we good to go? You let them go alone on Friday the 13th? Yeah. What's so special about Friday the 13th? You guys seriously don't know? No. Way back in the 1900s, like 1998, a cheerleader disappeared. Her body was never found. They say her spirit still roams these halls. That's crazy. <laughs> That's dumb. So, since it's Friday the 13th, should we just stick together? Totally. I'm just going to lock everything up. All right, all right. See ya. Be safe. Come on, you, you don't seriously believe all that malarkey, do you? What did you say? Malarkey. I don't know. Look. Wait. Wait! Jake! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Wow, spooky stuff. Yeah, hopefully that bad energy doesn't affect our athletes tonight. Good point. Let's see how our Baron athletes have been doing in the new year. Hey Barons, what's up? I'm Socorro, your sports anchor, and I'm back with the new year's sports scores and upcoming games. The Barons have been crushing it across the board, so let's get into it. Starting us off, boys basketball. They lost their last game of 2022 against RM, but bounced back against WJ, handing them a tough loss. At home, last Friday, they destroyed Whitman. They continued winning on Monday, beating Wooten at home. On Wednesday, they played an away game at Einstein and dominated them. Later today, they have an away game at Churchill. Good luck, boys. Girls basketball. A few weeks ago, they beat RM. Last week, for their first match of the year, they beat WJ, but unfortunately fell short to Whitman. On Monday, they also took a loss from Wooten, but came back strong, beating Einstein. Later today, they have a home game against Churchill. Get it done, ladies. Diving right on in, swim and dive. On Saturday the 7th, diving had a meet against Churchill. The boys unfortunately lost. However, Dylan Amirowitz won second place. The girls won their meet, Avery Moffitt taking first place, Audrey G taking second place, and Riley Moffitt taking third place. They have their next meet tomorrow at Gaithersburg Aquatic Center starting at 12. Boys swimming. They took an L at their last meet on Saturday against Kennedy. On the girls' side, they won their meet against Kennedy. Both the boys and the girls have a meet tomorrow against Booten. I hope it goes swimmingly. Bocce. Before winter break, they had a game against Churchill. They didn't win, but bounced back and later beat WJ. Last Thursday, they dominated Whitman, and this past Wednesday, they had an away game at Wooten, losing 2-0. Indoor track. They had a great day at the third MCPS MD meet of the season. 
For the girls' 55-meter dash, Amanda Vidore won second place, and the ladies won second place in the 4x800-meter relay. The boys won second place for the 4x400-meter relay and third place for the 4x800-meter relay. The team will be attending the Montgomery County Invitational this Saturday with schools from surrounding states. Good luck. In wrestling news, BCC lost a duels meet to Northwest. However, they quickly bounced back, destroying both Springbrook and RM in a try meet. Last Wednesday, they had a tough match against Churchill, taking an L. The Barons attended the Patriot Classic Tournament over the weekend, placing third overall. Shout out to Sam Moffat and Seth Weaver, who placed first in their weight classes. Sadly, on Tuesday, they lost to Damascus. This weekend, they're attending the Warpath Invitational at Franklin High School, so wish them luck. Palms. They crushed it at the Springbrook Invitational last Saturday. They came in first place, bringing home a trophy. On Wednesday, they performed at the Wizards game for halftime. Here's some highlights. Palm has their next Invitational at Seneca Valley tomorrow. Way to ring in the New Year's, Barons. That's all for this week. Keep up the good work. Back to you, Jay and Kyle. And that's all for this week, Barons. Check back in next episode for more news, updates, and humor. Keep the bulldog walking high. And abandoning your New Year's resolutions low. I'm Kyle Tidalbaum. And I'm Jay O'Connor. And we're signing off. Yeah. I have tears in my left eye.